Number 18. Give the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in neutral atoms of each of the following isotopes. Then I see I have A through E, so A, B, C, we'll do D down here and E over here. Okie dokie. So for the first one, we have boron, which is B, 10 and 5. Now this is standard notation, which means that the 10 is alluding to the Z number, which is the mass number. And remember that a mass number is always equals to the protons plus the neutrons. The bottom number is referencing the A number, which is the atomic number. And that is just the number of protons. So for here, if I just list out P, what do they want? Protons, electrons, and neutrons. Ooh, pen, cool. Protons are always going to be the bottom left-hand lower number, the A number, the atomic number. It's always equal to the number of protons. So for this, it would be five. Now here, they're telling us that in each one, it's a neutral atom, which means that there is no charge. And when the, there's no charge, that means that the net charge has to be equal to zero. And the net charge is always equals to the amount of protons minus the amount of electrons. And if we have to come out with a zero number, if I had five protons, five minus five electrons would give me zero. Five minus five is zero. Six minus six is zero. Seven minus seven is zero. So what does no charge tell us? A neutral atom or a no ch an atom with no charge, the number of protons has to equal the number of electrons every single time. So in these, they're all neutral, which means that if we have five protons, we will have five neutrons. Sorry, five electrons. So five protons, five electrons. Now, we got to figure out how many neutrons there are. Well, we can find out how many neutrons there are by dealing with the Z and the A number. You can always subtract these two to find out how many neutrons there are. So I'll put that up top here. The number of neutrons is always equals to the Z number minus the A number. You can never have a negative amount of neutrons. So if you get a negative number, go back. Something went wrong. So it's always equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. All right, so in this case, it would be 10 minus 5. So number of neutrons would be 10 minus 5, which is 5. So in this case, we have 5s all down the road for boron. So 5 protons, 5 electrons, 5 neutrons, box that off, that's the first answer. Now, it's going to get a little quicker, because now we know how to do it. So we got Hg, which is mercury, for B, 199 and 80. And I'm going to put pen, P-E-N. Protons are the atomic number. That's the bottom left-hand number. We know that we have 80 of those. There, it's neutral, no charge, so the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we know we got 80 for that. And then number of neutrons is up top number 199 minus 80. And that would get you... 199 minus 80 is 119 neutrons. See how quick that is? So there you go. This will get much quicker. So there you go. Those are the three answers for B. C. We got copper, Cu, 63 up top, 29 on the bottom. P, E, N. Protons is on the bottom. There's 29 protons. That's the atomic number. It's neutral, so the number of electrons should equal the number of protons, 29. And now I have a mass number of 63 and a atomic number of 29. So if we just do 63 minus 29, we will get our neutron answer. 63 minus 29 is 34. Box that answer off. Look how quick this is going now, guys. 
Awesome job. That's C. D, we got carbon, 13 and 6, P-E-N. You guys probably can figure out before I even write it. But bottom left-hand corner, 6, that's the atomic number, it tells me I have 6 protons. It's a neutral atom, so that means protons and electrons should equal, so 6. And then the number of neutrons is 13 minus 6. So 13 minus 6, we get... Seven. Seven neutrons. Box your answer off. That's it for that one, guys. And last but not least, we got selenium. S-E. 77 on the top, 34 on the bottom. P-E-N. We got 34 protons because that's the atomic number. So 34 for protons. It's a neutral atom, so that means that there's 34 electrons. It should equal the protons. And we have a mass number of 77. We have an atomic number of 34. So when we subtract them, bigger number minus the smaller number, we will get the number of neutrons. So 77 minus 34 is 43. Box that answer off. That's the last answer to this question set. Easy as pie, right? All right, guys. I hope this helped out. I hope you guys know how to do, you know, figure out your protons, neutrons, and electrons. If not, go back to our previous questions. There's so many there. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. If this helped you at all, click that subscribe button. It will help get the word out to many more students just like yourselves who are trying to do better on your chem journey. I thank you for that, and I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.